Hey there, welcome to another tutorial. This one is going to be about how to set up your site with Dreamweaver if you already have an existing site. So what we're going to do today is this is one of my sites, the Levi and Janessa site. And what we're going to do is I will show you how to add, add this site to Dreamweaver so you can work on it in Dreamweaver. The first thing you need to do is um, download your site. What I use is Fetch. It's a really great little FTP client. It, you know, you put in the information that can send files back and forth, which is really handy. A lot of my friends use Transmit. It's it's a newer program. It works great. Whatever you want to use, you just have to download all this stuff and get it onto your local hard drive. So, um, in Fetch, you can set up your favorites. And so here's the site that we're gonna um, we're gonna get. So what you're looking at here is the remote view of this particular website. So we need to download all of this. So if you select all and hit get, it's gonna start downloading the site. Go ahead and do this. It's going to take, obviously, the bigger your site is, the longer it's going to take. But once you get it downloaded, um, that's where our next step is. So get all those files downloaded, save them in somewhere on your hard drive, and know where they're at. All right, seeing a few. So my site is finished downloading, and I have saved it into my local drive. And I've actually made, um, in my home folder on the Mac, I've got a sites folder set up and this is where I keep several websites including the one we're working on which is this LNJ site also in this it's where I save the files that I use to actually generate the site but within this site folder that's where I actually keep the the files that will be posted to the website so this is the actual website and as you can see this is um, the same as my remote view so if you see about, aperture, ASP, net, it's all there. So I've got it all downloaded. So this is the first big step. So here's Dreamweaver loading up. And what we're going to do is, this is my file view. If, you're, if you don't see this, what I usually do is um, I go to Window, and then I go to... Um, workspace layout and I do um, dual screen and that will give you this this larger view which is actually really nice so what I'm going to do is where it says show here on above my remote view I'm going to do manage sites and that opens up this other this other window and what I want is a new site so it's going to bring up um, a view like this. It's easier if you use advanced because all the information you need to do is right here. So you either have basic view or advanced. Just click advanced. It's all the same stuff. You can just do it faster here. So what you're going to do is name your site. This one is L and J, which is great. So the next thing is your local root folder. Your local root folder is that, that folder on your hard drive where all the files actually live. So that's the next thing we have to put in. If you just click this folder here, it's going to open up a tab, and then I can come down to Sites. I can click L and J, and then Site. And then once I have that, and I can see my files there, I'm not going to choose any of these because I want this Site folder. Click Choose and then it, it's going to ask for a default images folder usually depending on how you've built your site but usually this will be inside your site folder just called images that's just the basic easy way to do it then um, depending on if you want your links relative your, to your document or your site root it's easier to do document because it's gonna it's gonna look for files based on where they are inside that folder so it'll it's relative to where they live in the folder otherwise if you do site root 
it's going to base them on your site root and where um, where files are in relation to that, which is more like a, a hard coding or like it's going to look more by its web address. So it's kind of pick your poison. Either way is fine. So go ahead and type in your, your website address. And then that's really all you need on this particular tab. If you notice over here, you've got a bunch more. Click on remote info. And I just had a little error there, but you won't. The next thing you're going to do is set your access. It may be set to none when you start. If it is, we want to do FTP. You need to put in your um, FTP host, which is just your website. And then you need to put in your, your login and your password. Once you've done this, click the save thing and hit test. And what it's going to do is try to connect to your site and it didn't do it. So what I'm going to try up here is put in www and we'll see if that works. So try it again. Still is not working. So let me try a different password. So once you get the right password, it will give you this message that it has been able to connect to your site. And all that means is that the, the password and everything you've put in worked and it, it can actually upload and download. So that's great. So this is all you actually need. All this other stuff is just kind of fancy Dreamweaver stuff. I don't use any of it ever. So this is kind of bare minimum what you need to know, but it's functional too. So now what it's going to do is go through and um, it's caching all the files that I have in that local folder. And it takes a second because there's 500 files. And then we click done. So what you've got now in this, um, this is your local side, this is your remote side. What you want to do then is um, open up your files like your home page. Here's my home page. I'm going to make my changes here. And then when I'm ready to upload them, I'm going to connect, which is this little guy right here, which will connect to the local side of the site. And it takes a second. And then what I'm going to do is upload that, which there's that a put button right there. Over here also you have um, a get and put button that if you click it gives you a drop down menu and then after you've made your changes and saved them you can do put. So that's kind of that's how to get your site set up in Dreamweaver so that you can start actually working on it. If you have Flash you're gonna have to you know work with your files in Flash, put them into Dreamweaver and then upload but it's that's how you do it. That's the quick and easy way to get your site set up on Dreamweaver. And this is my whiny puppy. Rocket. Hey, what are you crying about? You don't don't you like the the Dreamweaver set, site? And you want to set up your website? Huh? Or do you just want to go for a walk? You are so cute. So cute, little rocket, so cute.